Hello and welcome to world 2 of Super Alpha Zenus World. Looks like we are in a desert themed world for world 2. This is a... Well, so far it's been a new Super Mario Bros. style world. Um, each level does have some big coins. It also has four pink coins to collect. Well, three throughout the level and then one sort of at the... At the very end, right by the door. So really, there are three coins to collect, but there are four overall. Um, well, that was a convenient 10 extra lives or so. Um, the cool thing about this world is that there are a lot of hidden secrets. And I will say that finding these pink coins has proven to be quite difficult. So I think I've only found... I only found all of them in two out of the five worlds in world uh in world one so you know just know that going into this i might not find all of the pink coins but i'm gonna try my darndest all right let's see what do we have here Ooh, maybe there's a vine in that box down at the bottom perfect let's go maybe there'll be a pink coin up here too Let's find out. Anyways, if you've never been to my channel before, please consider subscribing. My goal right now is to try to hit 300 by the end of March. We've been slowly getting there. My original goal was 250, but we blew past that in like January or maybe early February or something like that. Well, there's like another 10 extra lives. I'll take it. But let's keep going. Um, but yeah. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like, leave a comment, and like I said, please consider subscribing if you enjoy what you're watching. I do play a lot of Mario Maker Super Worlds, and if you are new here and you are a Mario Maker creator, or you know some pretty awesome worlds or levels that you want me to check out, leave the code either in the comments or do like Guardwolf did, who recommended this world, and leave it in uh, my Discord. So the link for that is in the description below if you're interested in checking that out. Is there something up there? Or is it just clouds? I don't know. I can't tell. Let's go down here and see what we can find. Another vine. They're so divine. I say it all the time. And I like to rhyme. Yes! Yoshi, my friend, let's do this. Normally, desert levels are not necessarily my favorite style of Mario Maker levels, but... Ooh, there's a... There's a door up there. <laughs> Is there another box? No. Okay. Oh my god, how many hidden blocks are there up there? Are they all hidden blocks? Am I just supposed to be able to get over there? Okay, there must be, like, something. Uh, somewhere to... I don't know. Oops. Okay, how do we get up here? That's my first question. What the heck? Is this just... Am I supposed to blow all these up? Whoops. How do you get them back there fast enough? I'm just super slow at this. Alright, third time's a charm. Nope, definitely not. Ooh, we did it. Alright, Yoshi. Let's do this. Let's go. Now that I've wasted a good 30 seconds trying to trying to do that. OK, 
Okay, what awaits us on the other side? Is it... Oh my god, we have to wait for the timer? <laughs> there we go. Okay, now, coming back to my original problem, how do we get up on the other side there? To these doors. Like, there has to be hidden blocks somewhere with a, with a vine. Right? But where? Where is it? I don't know what I'm missing here. But it's clearly something. I mean, as much as I want to keep exploring, I also just want to kind of see what else is here. But knowing me, that's probably where, like, the, the third pink coin is, is somewhere up there. Oh, what do I do? Where do I go? Well, there's a third pink coin. Well, what the heck? Wait, is this the door and it brings me over? Oh my gosh. All of that time <laughs> wasted. Yes, no, get me off of Yoshi, please. Oh, okay. So now I have red Yoshi, which means I can now blow up all of those bombs that were encased in the, uh, in the blocks back over here. There we go. Somebody has 99 lives already? Holy jeez. Alright, let's just make our way to the end here. Give me all of your coins. Alright, and to the end. To the finish line with you, fire... Luigi and Fire Yoshi. Alright, not a bad first level to get us started here in World 2. Apparently we're going to a Snowasis level next. So let's see, what do we have here? Windy Ice Desert Cave. Is there such thing as an icy desert? I mean, ice kind of... <laughs> long course name. Um, ice is kind of... Um, s I mean, no. What was I going to say? Snow is kind of sand-like. In a sense. Like, it's just a... A snowy... Desert. Okay, let those fall first. There we go. And down the pipe. Wait, how do you want me to get up there? Oh, there's a... Tramapoline over here. Woo! Eh, eh. My god, all of this blowing... It's like that blizzard that we had last year back in April, which, by the way, I made a short about if you want to check it out on my channel page. <laughs> and a checkpoint. Oh, God, I honestly, I hate desert levels. 
and I hate are not desert levels, but I hate the the blowing desert levels. So the sooner we can get out of here, the better it will be for my sanity. All right, slow and steady. Nothing down there either. What's going to be the deal with that? Am I going to have to ride that platform? Or am I going to be able to get the coins? Ow! What happened? Did I get squished? By the platform? Oh, I hope not. I'm gonna be real salty if that was the case. Ooh, I get an automatic fire flower. Alright, let's just ride the gust over. It's got a lot of gusto, if you know what I mean. If you're picking up what I'm throwing down. Wait, can I go in that pipe while they're coming down or no? Ow. I didn't mean to do that. Well, I have a feeling that we've missed some pink coins here. Which is a bit unfortunate. But... I'm not the biggest fan of the design of this level, honestly. It's okay. What happens if I fall down below? I don't know if I want to test it and find out. Alright, what's the deal with this? Ow. Maybe another pink coin? The heist of the century. Let me take this with me just in case. Oh, is that where the last pink coin is? And I don't have a fire flower now. Ooh, darn. Oh, well. Well, we made it to the end of the level, at least. I guess I can't complain about that. Yeah, this level was okay. I didn't like it as much as the first one. But, see, somebody else said this is the worst level so far. Yeah. I, I wasn't that big a fan of it. But like I said, I'm not a big fan of, like, the desert gusty winds. And I didn't understand why it had to be snow-themed, honestly. Alright everyone, so I'm actually cutting away from Super Alpha Xenius World just for a moment, mainly because, okay, so there's a whole story behind this. I'm recording this on a different day, and I went to continue playing this world, and I saw that my progress wasn't saved, so I'm like, wait a second, did my, like, did I not save my game before I shut it off the day before or something like that? I really wasn't sure what happened. So I started playing through the world again, I got up to this point, and then I saw, wait a second, the ice level that we just played is gone. The icy, windy cave or whatever it was called. It's actually been replaced by a whole new level. So I'm actually going to cut away and we're going to check out this new level, Angry Sun Steps, which is the new world 
2-2 level. So it's a completely brand new level. It was basically just uploaded. Um, I have no idea what to expect, but I assume it's going to be in sort of the same or similar style like the uh, all of the other levels so far. Um, so yeah, that was a... How do we get up there? That was just a very interesting <laughs> surprise when I came back to play this morning. I'm like, well, what happened to all of my progress? And as it turns out, everything has been completely changed. There is also another level in World 3 that has also been replaced. So there's also going to be a cutaway in that world as well with a brand new level. Um, I haven't played that one yet either. I'm going to play it as soon as I get back there in this super world. And we'll sort of do the same thing. But first, what's in this pipe? I'm kind of thankful that uh, he took away, he, she, I don't know, um, took away the... I just want to see what's on the other side, if it's an extra life or if it's a coin box. Um, yeah, like I said, I was not a fan of that level, so I'm thankful that there's a new one to play and check out. And it hopefully gives the world like a whole new feel to it. Um, but like I said, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh-oh. How do we get down there? I want to get in the pipe. How do we get in the pipe? Is there anything up here? Ah, P-Switch. How? There we go. All right, let's see what's in here. Hopefully a pink coin. No, more 30 coins. My god, man. Eh. 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 Come on, get up there. Oh, thank goodness. So yeah, this is, I guess, going to turn into like a six world video at this point. Which is actually kind of cool. The fact that there is a whole new world here to explore. Is this one going to have a pink coin? Ah, there we go. Finally. Alright, so I'm definitely liking this level a lot more so far. Eh. I guess maybe we have to come back around for that. Uh, mum, 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 mum. Oh, do I need my propeller hat to get up to those things? I forgot I had one of those. <laughs> but maybe we can find another one here somewhere. Ta-da! No, gimme. Oh god. Oh god. There we go. Nice pink coin placement too. All right, well, I guess we'll keep going. We'll see what awaits us on the other side. Ow. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Whoops. Must find third pink coin. Of course, all of my lives are going to be, like, completely screwed up and all over the place now in this video. Like, I'm pretty sure I didn't have 67 lives at this point last time, so... Ooh, interesting. Wait, how am I supposed to make it to the other side? Oh, the freaking sun, man! Yeah, I'm just too slow. Oh well. 
I can get those coins at least. Out of me way, dry bones. I could go back and try for that 30 coin again, but I'm honestly not that motivated to do so. I have so many lives already. Pink coins, on the other hand. Oh, hello, pink coin. There you are. In another little section. I assume another little piped off section. This is, again, like a really long, sprawling level, which is really nice. Oops. Now, where would the last pipe be? I don't know if I want to go in here or not. Who knows, maybe we'll find it in here somewhere, though. Not there. No. No. Lots of big coins here, though. Not there. Down here? Fingers crossed. Yes! Excellent. Alright, let's see if we can find the finish line here now. Yes, sir! Booyah! No, I want Fire Yoshi. Oh, and I missed the top of the flag. Well, anyways, I, this was a very nice replacement to the last level. Alright, so let's give it a like and let's cut back to the rest of the super world. I don't know what's coming up after this, I can't remember, but let's just cut back to it. We're now in a sand oasis from a an ice oasis to a sand oasis. Thank you. Anything hidden over here? Nope, just falling water. This is our second water theme level already. We haven't even been in a water world. Ah, pff, how did I hit that pokey? Alright, what's up here? You've piqued my interest. Thank you. Knowing my luck, I'd get crushed by one of those falling blocks. <laughs> Alright. Nothing here. Really random thought right now, but I could really go for some pizza. I don't know why, but I'm just really craving it at the moment. Even though this video is probably going to come out like two weeks later... <laughs> and it's going to be completely irrelevant, but, you know, right now I could go for some good pizza. What are your favorite pizza toppings, people, out there? So I have... Okay, well, I have very specific pizza cravings. Like, there are certain restaurants that I will order from if I'm craving a certain kind of pizza. So, f for example, Domino's. Domino's exists pretty much everywhere, as far as I know. Um... From Domino's, I really love their Philly 
cheesesteak pizza. It is so good. I love all the toppings on it. I love the sauce that they use. I love the cheese that they use. It is amazing. That is like my... Well, like I said, I have very specific cravings. So if I'm like craving... Ow. Oh, and there was a checkpoint down there too. Darn, now we got to do this all over again. Um, But yeah, that is like my very specific Domino's craving, if I'm really craving Domino's. We also have a place that I think is only local in Canada called Boston Pizza. I don't know why it's named after an American city, but I'm pretty sure it's just a Canadian chain. Um, but they have a spicy pierogi pizza. I don't know if pierogies exist where you are. They're very big here where I live. Um, basically, they're like fried dumplings with like potato and cheese filling just oh, so good so good i don't have pierogies often enough <laughs> um but yeah boston pizza has a pierogi pizza that has um they have these like thinly sliced spicy potatoes they call them cactus cut potatoes oh my god and if you get those on their own with the cactus cut dip oh so good like, there are so many good things at that restaurant. I love it so much. But their pierogi pizza. So it's got those potatoes on it. It has bacon. It has green onions. It has different kinds of cheese. And then in the middle, they put a big dollop of sour cream. Oh, and then you can dip it in sour cream as well. Oh my god, it's the best. Like, I could... There have been times where I have ordered a large pizza and I have eaten it in one sitting. Because I just can't stop eating it because that's how good it is. Pizza Hut I'm not really a big fan of. I think Pizza Hut is another chain that exists pretty much everywhere. Um, but yeah, Pizza Hut I'm not a big fan of because I find their pizza to be very greasy and just overall not the greatest. Um, then there are also like local places that make really good pizza. Like we have so many different pizza places here and they all make really good pizza. Like you can't go wrong with pizza. Really. Ah, yes. Finally, a pipe that has something. Just a 30 coin, but I'll take it. Um, but yeah, I... So, like, for... Like, if I were to just make a pizza at home, obviously I wouldn't make something that extravagant. But I do like, for example, like, pepperoni and mushroom is really good. Um, anything with onion, I think, is really good. Um, green pepper isn't a bad pizza topping. Ham and pineapple, or like Hawaiian pizza. I know people hate on Hawaiian pizza. I think it's really good. But again, it just it depends what I'm craving at the time. And I don't know what kind of pizza I'm craving right now. I think I just want... I want something, something good. If I were to make a homemade pizza... Usually I go with like a chicken and mushroom, maybe onion, but something like that. That's a, that's a good homemade pizza for me. I'm not a big fan of meat on pizza, but I do like chicken. Pepperoni is pretty good. Ham is pretty good. But other than that, eh, if you want meat, like meat lovers, that's just way too much meat for me. And it's not that I'm a vegetarian or anything like that. I just don't necessarily like a lot of meat on my pizza. Now that I've talked about ham and pineapple, I kind of want ham and pineapple pizza, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, uh, you want me to go right, but I'm gonna go left. Mwahaha! <laughs> Disobeying your orders. Not bad, we found a nice 30 coin treasure here. We still have a ways to go in this world. I think we're only on level 3 and this we've already been playing for like a good 20 minutes or so. So this again is a testament to how nice and long a lot of these levels are. Sometimes long can be a bad thing if it gets just like overly frustrating, but in this case... I don't, I don't mind it, because there's a lot to explore and just stuff like that. 
paint coin in here, perhaps? Woohoo! Treasure for me. Nobody else. Just for Mr. Luigi. Thirty coin. Can't believe I'm at seventy-five lives already. Like, am I gonna hit ninety-nine before the end of this world? Like by the end of world two, I should say. All right, this level was definitely a lot better than the last one. I agree with the person that said that the last one wasn't very good. This one was definitely a a step up from that one. I don't know if there's anything hidden up there, but I feel like for time, like time-wise, we need to kind of move on to the next one. All right, now we have a quicksand level coming up. Hot desert dunes. What's up, Dune? Oh god! <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> oh, Matt. Alright. I'm gonna borrow you for a second, Koopa. Fortunately, you're gonna have to go in the... Dang it. Eh, can I save it? Can I... Nope, I couldn't save it. There we go. Alright, I feel better about life now. I do like that there are indicators for where the all of the lava bubbles are going to be. And like how high they go and stuff like that. That's always nice to have. Not that I need it necessarily, but it's a nice touch for sure. Alright, was there something back here? I totally was not paying attention. Do I want to damage boost my way or do it? I feel like I should get a fire flower first before I do anything. Probably from here? Or I could use the shell. That is, that's true. There we go. Let's see what's down here. All right, let's just be patient. We're not in a rush. He said while rushing back to the exit. Die, 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 die. This pipe seemed more dangerous, so hopefully it has something hidden. Oh. Sweet! Alright. Nice little secret. A little bit of uh, extras there. Is this gonna... Ow. Is this gonna be a vine? Nice. Kind of sad I lost my fire flower, but... What can you do... All right, let's keep an eye out for that last pink coin. It's totally up there. Now, how do we get up there? Is this going to be like a triple jump situation? Do I use the vine? No. How do I get up there? Wow. 
How, how can I triple jump in time? Ow. No. This is going to just be me spending 20 minutes trying to figure out how to get into that gap. Unless it's just a matter of me, like... Uh, I don't know. I give up. I'm sure there's a way to get in there, but I don't have the patience to do that. Oh, nuts. <laughs> of course, we're at the end. Oh, well. Again, another very well-made level. I just want to know how to get in that gap there. I feel kind of silly for not being able to figure it out. But let's move on to the castle, let bygones be bygones. There have been plenty levels where I haven't been able to collect the pink coins, so... It is what it is. Propeller Suit Pyramid. Interesting. I do like these sort of areas at the beginning of the levels. Hmm, I wonder if this is where the boss is going to be. There's like a P-switch or something. Um, yeah, I do like... I forgot what I was going to say now. <laughs> I don't remember what I was saying two seconds ago, so... Alright, well, here's our pyramid. Oh, dang it. Okay, and that's just the other side. Gotcha. Ah. Okay, hold up. But do I... I think I want to check that yellow pipe first, right? Because I feel like the red pipe was the entrance to the the pyramid. Because it was going down into a pyramid, so... And obviously, as I'm saying all of that, well, you could see that the pink coin was there, but... You know. You know how it is. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Just ignore me. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Can I go up there? Oh, I don't think I want to press that. Can I go up here? Nope. Can I go up here? No. Can I go down here? Can I go down here? Can I go down here? Can I go up here? Eh. Eh. All these darn tantalizing... There we go. I found something to go up. Maybe I should have hit the checkpoint for... Oh, I can go back. Good, it's better to have secrets locked by power-ups to not be key coins. True, if you do want to collect all the key coins. I agree with that. Hello, Mr. Thwompy. Oh, what are you hiding up here? Hopefully another pink coin. Eek! Still managed to avoid all the P-switches, thank goodness. I learned a lot from uh, Super Rubber Ross World. The... The, uh, oh shoot, which level was it? It was like P-switch peril or something like that, where you had to constantly avoid... Ah, god! All of the P-switches. Is this another uh, coin? There's a P-switch door. Where is this going to lead?
Nice. Oh, okay, this is just our exit out of here. I do kind of wish that maybe there was a different mechanic for those, just because the, uh, the P-switches take so long to deactivate themselves, and then you're just stuck there waiting for five seconds. But, eh, other than that... Kaboom! Alright, well, let's do this. Let's see if we can find another pink coin somewhere. Are these anything? Just coins. Just designed to hamper my progress. God, this is like an... Ow. This is like an Undertale boss. <laughs> All right, what is this one hiding? I assume that was to get down here. Sweet. We're going to be up good with all these pink coin shenanigans. Is it boss time? Is there even a boss? No. Just a... Pyramid. Oh god. I need a propeller hat for that. I lost my propeller hat a long time ago, my friends. Well, we didn't quite make it to 99 lives, but we are at 95, so that's pretty good. We definitely aren't skimping on any of the coins <laughs> in these worlds, so that's kind of nice. Alright, well that is going to do it for World 2. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment. Any engagement with the channel helps it grow. And again, if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing trying to hit 300 subs by the end of March. We'll see how it goes. We're going to check out World 3 in the next video, but until then, have a good one, and I'll talk to you later.